What's happening, everybody? Now, I hope everybody had a fantastic Halloween. Now, um, first off, you know, YouTube probably did some changes or something because it's messing up. That's why my vid this video ain't going to be in great quality, but I guess I have to, you know, do this video. So, yeah, so I decided why not revisit the original Halloween. Now, believe it or not, there are, even though this is one of the best Halloween movies, there are still some, f you know, flaws in the film. Now, I'm going to explain to you the negatives first. Cause, um, I'll, and then I'll get to the positive. You know, of course, there's a lot of positives in it, but I'll just go cut to the negatives get that over with. Now, the negatives are some of the ignoring characters. Like, um, when that one girl says, Totally, totally, totally. That is annoying as shit. And you know, um, you know, Annie, she was an annoying character a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's the only negatives I have with it, basically. But other than that, the rest of the film was great. Now the mask is phenomenal. Um, the kills were, you know, decent. Um, of course, this is the one John Carpenter didn't want to have, you know, a lot of blood and guts and all that. He didn't want that in this film. So, um, Halloween 1978, it's a masterpiece. What more can you say? It's a masterpiece. And Louis Strode's great in this film. Um, after this film, after I'm done with this revisiting review, I might just cut to Chase and go to part four. Um, Halloween 4, visit that review after, right after I film this one because... I just got finished watching Halloween 4 and I hadn't seen it in a while. And so, yeah, I'll revisit that after I revisit this movie. So, Halloween 1978, it's a 10 out of 10. No question about it. 10 out of 10 for Halloween 1978. It's one of them horror films that I highly recommend. Those people that love horror films that have not seen Halloween 1978, what are you waiting for? If you don't like this film, you're not a horror fan. I love the look and feel of this film. It feels... A lot of the scenes feel like fall. You know, you see leaves on the ground and stuff. It's pretty cool. And, um, of course, the opening scene has one of the best opening scenes in any horror films, which is when it shows that pumpkin, of course, and it shows that theme. And then plus, you know, of course, Halloween has one of the best, actually the best horror soundtracks of all time. No question about it. Halloween 1978 is a 10 out of 10 movie. I can rewatch this over and over and over again and still get the same feeling I had the first time. So yeah, Halloween 1978 is a 10 out of 10 film. And um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Like, what are you waiting for if you haven't seen this film? If you're a horror fan, you like it. You like this film if you're a horror fan. Like, you gotta sometimes you gotta be a diehard horror fan to like Halloween. And I cannot wait for Halloween Kills, though. I cannot wait for Halloween Kills. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for Halloween. 1978. So, yeah, um, I guess that's it for this review, revisiting review. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know new videos uploaded. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now I'm out. Peace.